So my name is Kelly. I'm in class of 2026. I'm majoring in business administration. And I also music, produce music. I make beats. But before I get into my presentation, I just want to start with an icebreaker. Okay, so uh, anybody in the crowd should pick one of these. So before I even start the icebreaker, I just want to let you know that with music, a lot of the music that you hear samples old things, samples tracks from the past. And I want to demonstrate that through this icebreaker. So I want you guys to choose any of the three options here. And when I play it, you have to guess what song it was sampled in. All right, so anybody in the crowd, please choose one of these. Yeah. You were going. All right. Okay. So I'm going to play you were going. Whoever can guess what song it was sampled in, yeah, I guess wins. I don't know what they win, but they win. Yeah. All right, okay, so let me play it. Yeah, correct. Uh, so this song was. Hey, yet? Yeah. All right. Okay, let's go back. Anybody else wants to choose another one? Beach house. Beach house. Beach house. All right. Sure. Okay. So I'll play beach house. That's correct. Wow. Beach house. Uh, me and my niggas trying to get it. Okay. Yeah, and the last one. Okay, it's obvious. <laughs> All right. So this this one is pretty easy. Uh, okay, so that is the icebreaker. So, okay, it's called sampling. It's majorly part of what I usually do with my craft. Uh, okay, so about me, I, as I mentioned, I'm a class 26, business administration. I'm an award winning producer. Yes, I've charted in numerous countries, produced for 70 plus artists, accumulated 20 million streams within my three years of production. My name on social media and DSPs is Calm Beats. As I production, I like to write, cycle, and uh, work out as well. Um, and these are some artists I produced for. Um, Take a D, I produced a little promo on this latest installment, and that was the album that went number one. Every art producer involved got a number one plaque. Produced for Asian Doll. How many of you have heard of her before? Yeah, King Von's girlfriend, yeah. I produced two shots, two ups on her latest release. Yeah, I'll talk. I'm sure you've heard of you talk before. Um, a feature you did with Okese One, but Bounce It, I produced that too. If you don't find any of the other songs I produced, you can just search co produced by Count Beats on YouTube or Spotify and you see it there. Okay, so how did it start? So in 2019, my friend in school, he was like a multiverse person. He was invested in a lot of things. He, I collected FL Studio of him, but I never actually used it until like the lockdown period. Um, there was nothing to do, so I just thought, why not I hone my skills, hone my craft, and something available. In November 2020, I produced my first ever song. Uh, an artist called Chris Crack. It's called Winners Just Losers. That didn't quit. And I didn't earn any money from it, but like the fact that I produced something that was out there that other people were listening to, it made me very happy. And from April 2021, I made the decision to like pursue music production like for the rest of my life. It's what I want to do once I'm done with you and everything. And yeah, we are here in February, and I have all these things to my name. So yeah, I, I guess it makes me happy. So. Okay, so now to the design thinking part of music production. So I want to touch on like some of the challenges that I faced. So um, in Ghana, there's a general stigma, it's like stigmatization towards creatives. Um, people don't really regard creatives as like a highlight until they become like successful, like they get global success. So yeah, a lot of people um, look down on like my career choice, especially in school and everything. No, 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 no teacher knew about like my accolades until I graduated, after I graduated, and like they got into the news and everything. And it didn't really bother me much. And then also, um, balancing my work with A levels, and my, the time I started taking music production seriously and um, coincided with you know, my final exams for high school, but I guess I balanced that really well. And also, specialization, like honing down to something specific, which I'll touch on in a few. Yeah, so how I applied design music, design thinking with music. I'm going back to the interface again. I just want you guys to listen to this quickly. I'm sure everybody remembers this track. Yo! I just 
like 30 seconds. Big shot, the one and only, man's not hot. Never hot. Slap! Yeah, I remember this track 2016. Yeah, okay, so um, between the period of 2016 to 20, like 19, this was like the primary sound of the UK, it, like it was dark piano, like heavy hitting drums. But the problem with that was like it got too repetitive at a point. Every song was taking that formula and like reaching it into another track. And whilst I was in lockdown, I was thinking, why is the genre like this? And I read that that genre was like unconventionally dark and things. And I thought, why not I like just involve myself into like making sure like it changes some way, somewhat. So out of curiosity, one time I told this to my dad, and he was the first person to introduce me to a framework of design thinking, the five wires. So he got me to get like a piece of paper and a pen, and he asked me the main question, and he said I should break it down to five questions. Obviously, at that time, I was so bored, I didn't write five questions. But I got three. I remember the three that I had. So I asked him, why is the genre pre predominantly dark and gritty? And I got the answer, which are producers, like, known to like, dark generic patterns. And I asked the question from there. And then why was that a willingness to change the formula? And from there, the three questions that I got, the three uh, answers that I got, I went on to a solution, which was basically the concept of loop making. So in other genres, like trap and boom bap, etc., etc., um, there are loop makers aside the producers who like make like creative rich melodies for people to use. And let me give you an example. Have any has anyone here heard of um, um, Reggae and Calypso before? Reggae and Calypso by Ras Williams. You heard it before. And I, if I told you that that beat wasn't made from scratch, but it's, it was made, the, loop, the melody was made by a loop maker in Switzerland. Let me play it for you to hear. Yeah, so, loop, loop makers are like the yin and yang of like other producers. They make things much easier and like they give like producers different soundscapes to work with. It can be dark, it can be like melodic, like this. Yeah, basically. And so I thought at the time the drill production scene didn't really have loop makers. So I thought, why not I like specialize into this year? It was really easy to do this kind of thing. So you just had to watch like tutorials of other genres and then apply it to yourself. And yeah, it allowed me to specialize and solve something at the same time. And it took about like one year of work. But when a new promo um, dropped in like all DSPs, um, people could see the fact that like, I and a few other producers have like made a conscious effort to like change the sound of drill. So it's no longer the dark pianos, heavy hitting drum that you hear today. It's more melodic and advantage with different forms. I'm sure on TikTok you've heard like different forms of drill, like when you're on the phone and everything. And yeah. Okay, so what impact have I had? I will say um I mean myself I've had like a great impact as like when I I came to Ashesi and I had all the things that people are doing. And I just made like beats on, in my bedroom, and like I don't think like it has as much as an impact on everybody else, but the impact that people ought to expect to hear. But I'm also grateful like, for the fact that through my journey, like, I've inspired other people to like to tap into their creative selves and follow their true passions. Because I tell people that um, if you're going to be a wage slave, at least be a wage slave to something that you like, and like be happy with what you're doing. And I'm happy when I make music, and it's like, nothing else that I want to do. So. I guess that's the impact that I've had on other people, like just to follow their passions regardless. And then the lessons I've learned, I think, quite self explanatory like do what you love, don't confine yourself to other people's expectations. And the fact that doing what you love, like, is attached with sacrifice. Um, at high school, I had to, like, forgo a lot of things so that I could, like, properly, like, um, dive deep into, like, the world of production. So if you have to do what you love, you have to also make that, like, sacrifices are involved. And yeah, I was also told to mention that how important and this has been to me. I'm just happy that I was given the platform here to like um, um, just talk about my like who I do as a creative. I don't think I've had like a platform for me to like talk about this before ever. This is my first time ever doing this. So yeah, I'm grateful to the D Lab and Delali and the content series platform to allow me to share my brief experiences in the world of music production. And I hope to be back here soon. Thank you very much. If there are any questions, please feel free to ask. So, you talk 
Okay, so guy asked that. So aside draw, I make like a variety of other things, but like for specialization sake, I do draw. But like, on the side, I do other things. Let me, let me just play. So aside making beats and loops for like other people, I, I like to do remixes a lot. So I'll, I'll play this for you guys here. I hope the video is. You know how you guys have watched tomorrow too before, right? The video. Yeah, I hope it's it's safe to play like it's safe like this. Is it? Should I? Or I should just play the audio version? Audio version. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, sure. Let me just let me just look for the audio version once. Let's Yeah, so I, I, I produce this kind of like boom bap and like just soft music as like a pasta. And I also do like do other things like Jersey. You guys know Jersey. Um, Uzi Vert. Um, just wanna rock. Yeah, I, I, I do that sometimes. Trap, Afro. Yeah, I, I do do something. Any other questions? Okay, so with FL Studio, I had no one to teach you. I had to use like YouTube to learn. So there are a lot of videos of like past producers who've used it and like sharing their experiences. So I watched those videos. And also my, my friend in the UK used to like trade projects. He was much better than me. So like I used to study his projects, like how I used to make beats and then I just applied it to myself. Any other questions? In terms of music producers now, um, the Alchemist. Have you ever heard of him before? The Alchemist. Yeah, he's my biggest music music producer, like inspiration. Yeah, I aspire to be like not like him per se, but like like at his level one day. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? No questions. Okay, so with 2023, I just like plan to be as consistent as possible. Um, last year, because of school and then applying for uni, I wasn't like as consistent as I wanted to be. But this year, I just want to be as consistent as possible with my beats. Like, so I have a beat channel where like I release beats to sell. I just want to release one every day, like regardless of what happens. My loops, like just like distribute loops out for people to use and get placements from. And yeah, with artists I want to, I really want to work with an artist called Nux. I, know, I don't know if you guys have heard of him before. Nux. Nux. Yeah, he's um, Nux and Nems, those two, those are like my, my bucket list goals. Yeah, but aside that, yeah, I just want to be consistent. That's what I want to be this year. Hey, uh, I don't know if you heard about this, but uh, recently, you um, know, you someone's type. Yeah, yeah, I heard that story. Batman. So, my question is. Let's see if if were you right, what would be your response to me? Uh, <laughs> if something like that happened, I don't think I'll I'll, I'll probably be here like anymore. Like because it's a, it's a it's a very big I heard that Batman subscribers it went about by thirty K. Um in the first one week he earned like a million off royalties and everything. So like something big that happens to like just a type producer of the internet so, like will be life changing. So yeah. I'll be very happy if, if that was to happen to me one day. <laughs> Any other questions? Like to, um, okay, so in high school, lots of people wanted to learn, but like no one really had like the passion to like continue. So like a lot of people came to me. I gave them FL Studio, installed on their PCs. We used to like meet in class, I'll teach and things, but like. No one released it. Only one person did, but like now she's gone off to school. She's doing like mechanical engineering. Her mind has shifted off music a bit. So I didn't know in time, no, but hopefully soon. Hopefully. Any other question? And do you think that it's a good thing that they're doing something that they're doing? Like, do you think that it's a good thing that they're doing? Yeah, it's definitely like one part of like my long term plan. I just want like people to be exposed to like the fact that. You can make stuff on your laptop and like make money and things like that. Like 
it's definitely like a career that you can career venture that you can pursue, I would say. Any other questions? Um, do you have uh, Well, I, I do actually have that. Let me hold on. Let me show you. Okay, so I have, I have two channels, three channels actually. So this one is just for like uploading remixes, and then this one is for uploading like samples for producers to use. And then the third one, I upload like beats and then tutorials as well. So I released this this tutorial. Um, about um, two weeks ago. So I just plan, that I also want to be consistent with that, so just like make as much as possible in channels for people to like tap into. Any other questions? No questions? Yeah, <laughs> So how do you advertise yourself? Do you like have some kind of friendship or friends? Okay, so um, advertising, usually Instagram, so like I pull out my stuff and things on my stories and then my feed. So the feed? My feed, right? Yeah, my feed and my story. Yeah, I put things up there as well. And uh, yeah, it's, it's mainly Instagram because Snap, like people, you can put a link there, but as to whether people will tap it, uh, you, you I have no idea. But it's mainly Instagram that I advertise from. Uh, I don't exactly know what professional foods are, but, but do you see any overlap between things and your professional goals? How do you think the team can work together cohesively to, to give you an overall good performance? Okay, so. Um my my like my final I, I was working like music when I'm done with school. So like my final like well at this moment my final goal is just like open like a chain of studios in Accra. Like it, it works in this it, there's something a concept that's built in the UK, Paris Studios, whereby one person like owns like a chain of studios that people can access and things. It's not like available in Ghana, but like me and my friend want to do that after we're done in school. But like for the meantime I have to like generate income to do that. And I'm doing that through like producing, selling beats, um, selling licenses, getting placements and things like that. Yeah. So it's just more of a balance between like schoolwork and doing this because I have to be consistent with this in order to like earn money and things. So yeah, I think that that, that best answer your question. Okay. Yeah, I want to know what kind of beats you could repeat again. What type of beats do you produce? The type of beats I produce. Okay, so I, I make I make virtually everything except for I'm a piano and country. So anything you can ask me, I can like have a fair attempt at doing it. Yeah. Anyone else? You want to put it Yeah. I, I, one day, I think after, when I move off, I'm on campus right now. So like recording like tutorials is really hard because people come in and go and disrupt the process. Hopefully, if I when I move off campus, I, I'll definitely put that. In there. Oh yeah, there's definitely like something I would like to do for sure. Sure. Any other questions? No questions. Um, I think well, I'm actually inspired by your work, but then I'm also asking that you see, I think they. Okay, so I think a lot of you guys are in twenty four. So you are, you probably know Siri. Yeah. yeah, okay. So Siri and then Alvin, Alvin Brock, have you guys heard of him before too? Alvin Brock? Yeah, okay, so Siri, him, I, and then another guy, Kelvin, we started, a, well, we hope to launch a group called MP, so Music Production Entertainment Industry Club, whereby like, we just, like, it gives us, like, a school venue to, like, do things and, like, get the support of the school from. And then, aside that, to uh, once in a while, I do speak with, like, people, um, crazy, I also had the creative, I participated in the creative festival, with those four people I mentioned, and then once in a while, yeah, I do speak with like, um, in this case, not investors, like label, like managers, and like just like how to put myself out there as like an independent producer. Okay. Any other questions? 
manager. Manager. Um, right now, my mom is the pe my person who manages me at the moment. Yeah, she has like a fair background in like law and things, so I think it's the best like option for me at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you have to pay for it. As to what I paid for it, I can't confirm nor deny. <laughs> but you have to pay for it, yes. Any other questions? Is it difficult to make like unique beats? Because I see a lot of the time people prefer to sample, like even if they have a beat that is new, they always have to prefer inspiration. Um, okay, it, it depends. Or you have like enough knowledge of like what the software is and how to make beats. I don't think it's that difficult to make beats from scratch. But then, then again, making sampling stuff to make beats too is also quite hard. So like, it depends on the kind of producer you are. Any other question? No questions. All right. Okay. So I guess this is my cue. Am I still breaking down the beats or is that done? Eh, sure. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.